What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, I thought it would be a good idea to try to leave the Satsuma with Blitari on a Friday afternoon. Why is that not a good idea? Well, he's closed Saturday and Sunday, so since we weren't able to retrieve it from him today, we're not going to be able to get it until at least... Monday, which is kind of a real bummer, but that had me scrambling this morning trying to figure out, you know, what we could actually do here without the Satsuma. Probably half of our time is spent just wrenching on the thing, so without it, I kind of feel a little lost, but I feel like I've figured out a couple of different tasks for us to accomplish without it. So having said that, the first thing we're going to do is hop in the Ferndale, and uh, we're going to go down to the dock. This is going to be... Oh, yeah, dude. I'm not even on the road. This is going to be really difficult to try to back this thing up. Let's see how we did. Honestly, not terrible. For having almost zero visibility, I would say we did a, a pretty good job. So, we're going to go ahead and just leave the trunk open. You'll see why a little while later on. Or maybe the title and the thumbnail has already given it away. Uh, whatever the case may be, we're now going to make our way over to the island. Alrighty, we have arrived. We just need to pull up to the dock a little bit more, put her into neutral, and shut the engine off. There we go, dude. We've made it back at the island once again. So, I'm actually already having second thoughts on my, like, grand master plan for the day. Originally, I was just going to catch the fish, or rather take the fish out of our basket down here, and just haul them all back home so we could get them grilled for grandma. What I think I want to do instead is a little solo overnight camping. I guess since we have this whole little cottage here, it's not really camping. It's more like glamping. Or we could just call it a solo overnight island survival. That sounds kind of sick, honestly. So first thing we're going to do, actually not first thing we're going to do. Because if we take the fish out, they could, they could become dead. And then they could potentially spoil. I don't really know how that works. So I guess... Let's grab our axe, and we're going to start the fire. If we are going to cook these fish here, um, we're going to want to do it relatively quickly. There's two logs. Easy, easy dub, easy dub. And that one, big fail. That's okay, that's okay. We'll try again. There it is. All right, all we need are three... Does that sound right? Three logs for all these fish? I don't know if you can cook the fish all at once. I don't know if you have to cook them one at a time. But we're going to find out together. Hopefully, all goes well. So with our three logs now in there, we should be able to just start the fire. And I, I made this mistake in my initial modded playthrough of this game, but you're not actually supposed to cook the fish on an open flame like this. You kind of want to wait for the, for the logs down here to become an ember, and then you can cook your fish. So... We're going to be waiting a little while. I think this takes a bit longer than, say, the stove, for example. We don't have any charcoal at home. Otherwise, we would be able to use the grill as well. Let's go ahead and turn this on. We can sleep here, right? Yes, we can. Okay, good, because our fatigue is up there. We're also very, very dirty. I'd love to get rid of these flies. I really would. Let's just go ahead and head to bed for tonight. And then hopefully the fire's still going. I can't imagine it would go out overnight, but I guess we'll find out here. Sounds like it's still going. All the logs still in there? Oh yeah, all three of them. Okay, so kind of strange, but I like it. I like it. Before I forget, I do want to grab this camera from inside the cabin. We're probably not going to be using it today, but it's something that will come in handy later on. So we'll just grab it while we're here. Might as well. Looks like we're down to two logs now, so that's good news. Let's head around back, though. Thankfully, we do have a well back here, so we're definitely not going to be going thirsty. I love how this cottage has a full-on sauna, but no bathroom, no shower, nothing like that. I mean, we, we've got the outhouse for the bathroom portion of it, but I was talking about bathing specifically. I'm pretty sure if we just swim around enough, eventually our dirtiness will start to decrease. Maybe? Or not? Really? Or we're just that dirty? Oh, it's not like an immediate, like, constant decrease. It's sort of 
gradual, just every now and then. So, I guess we'll just stay out here until we're nice and clean. Two very boring minutes later. All right, it is officially go time. We'll head down to the water, grab our little fish trap, open her on up, and we should just be able to grill all these fish. Like I said, I don't know if you can do them all at once or if you have to do them one at a time. But let's place it down right there. Yeah, I guess I guess that works. Just pick a fish and place a fish. I'm hearing some searing noises, which I think is a good sign. We'll try to get as many of these put up here as we possibly can. But again, I don't know if this is actually going to work or not. Hopefully, this is sort of the right thing to do. Sounds like our boating friend is approaching very, very quickly. Wonder if he's caught anything today. He always just like cruises by and then slows down like right there. What are you doing? He, and he's eyeballing us the whole time. I know it's it's a little too far away. You guys probably can't see his face, but he's watching us just like everyone else in town. We'll bring our trap now that it's empty back down to the water and uh, we'll let that thing keep trapping, doing its thing, you know, catching all those fish. But we've got all of them up here on our little uh, wood stove now. That's not what this is called. Or maybe it is. I honestly can't remember. But we'll just sit here in this little plastic lawn chair. Just watch our fish. Hopefully, hopefully they're going to cook perfectly. Oh, there it is. There it is. We've got our first grilled pike, dude. I've never, I've never done this. For as long as we've played this game now, I have never successfully grilled a pike. I don't think. I know I've charred them on this fire pit before, but that is really sick. The texture, it's, it's a little weird. It's definitely a little weird, but we're gonna go ahead and start chucking these as they finish cooking into the boat. Well, I have definitely found the limitations of the boats. At least, I don't think I would have missed the boat when I was tossing them in, but as you can see, we do have one casualty. Unfortunately, it's in the deep section of the of the lake here, so I'm not actually able to retrieve it. But that's okay. I mean, we've got plenty of fish for Grandma. I didn't really want any fish for us anyways. I mean, we've got plenty of sausages back at home. But our main concern today is most definitely just trying to make as much money as possible. Even though, again, we don't have the Satsuma, we don't exactly have a fast, reliable... Can you just open? Can There you go. We don't exactly have a fast and also reliable vehicle to take around. As we learned in the previous episode, the Ferndale, it's a bit too squirrely, in my opinion. We're just gonna huck the camera inside. We'll find that eventually someday again when we need it. But all these empty plastic bottles that we have, or plastic cans as the game calls them, we're just going to chuck them over into the corner. As I mentioned in the previous episode as well, I do really want to start to do the uh, the keel you bottling in stuff, at the very least, outdoors. So with those piled up over in the corner, now we've just got to bring some of these fish in because I don't think that they spoil. Even when left outside of the refrigerator, I don't think they actually spoil. So I want to keep a couple of these for ourselves. Um, but maybe even later on when Grandma needs more grilled fish, we'll just sort of have them on deck, ready to go. But she only needs, I believe, five at the at the most. We've got five of these in the trunk now for Grandma, and only four in our kitchen. Had we not lost that one, dude, we would have had all five of them ready for Grandma the next time around, but that's okay. So, uh, what we need to do next is just take care of our stats. I'm not gonna eat the grilled fish, or the grilled pike, because, again, I would kind of like to keep them for Grammy Grams. So we'll have some of our sausages, drink some water from the tap here, probably have a very quick urination, and then we can take the Ferndale out to Grandma's. It's going to be another miserable drive. Actually, on second thought, why don't we take the Kekmet instead? I mean, the diesel tank on this thing has been basically on E for as long as we've been using it now, and it takes a very, very long time to fill it up using the jerry can. I think it only fills up about a quarter of the tank at a time, which again, it's gonna take way too long. So we could, here's here's what I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. We could take the Kekmet with the fish to grandma's. It's gonna take a long time to listen to all her stories until we actually get paid from her, but then we can take the Kekmet all the way up to Quavo's, fill up the entire tank all in one go, and then we can make our way back. But also, while we're up at Quavo's, 
we could probably purchase another part. Nothing crazy, we don't have a ton of money to be spending, but I think the triple pod gauge here could definitely come in handy. So we'll go ahead and uh, place that in a little envelope here, huck it inside the Kekmet, and then let's also bring the diesel canister just for backup. We're not going to be using this, obviously, to fill the Kekmet, but uh, couldn't hurt. Right, we've got our fish, we've got our jerry can, we've got our envelope. I think we're finally ready to head out to Grandma's. No, no! Oh, dude, my controller just died. It's still, look, I'm not even touching anything. It's still floored, okay. I need to go get a new thing of batteries. I'll be right back. It's fine, Every, everything's fine. We're having a great time. Incoming rally car. Jeez, dude, they're hauling. Oh, and another, and another. Okay, we just gotta make sure we, you know, pull over onto the shoulder every time they come by. Not the fastest method of transportation to get to grandma's, I'll be honest, but it was slightly more reliable, I would think, than the Ferndale. When are your parents coming back from the holiday? I wonder if, I wonder what it, I wonder what is it that the summer here in Finland is not enough. Even grandma's sentences don't always make sense. The translation, I just feel like, isn't really there. I've had 78 summers in Finland and I've never needed to travel into some foolish places abroad. Uh, well, your parents have been always, well, well, your parents have always been such active people, I guess. Maybe it's the fact that I just can't read. Grammy, I'm just trying to give you all these grilled pikes, all right? But you keep talking. We can, so do you already have a girl in mind? You should look for one before they move to the city. I'm, I'm chilling, Grammy. I'm, I'm big chilling. You don't, you don't got to worry about me. All right, let's just sit down. So I've been told as well, we'll first drink some coffee. Um, if I hit K on the keyboard, that'll sort of give a response to grandma. And you guys have said that that's a good way to sort of speed up the conversation, but I'm not so sure that it actually works. We'll find out. Oh. Grandma, we've been over this already. I don't know. I don't know when my parents are coming back from the holiday. I have no, I have no idea. This really is painful to have to sit here and, and listen to all of grandma's stories. The same things, the same things over and over and over again, no matter how many times I give her a response, it's never good enough. What the heck is that noise? Oh, it's the bus. It's the bus driving on the main road behind the tree line over there. I hadn't, I hadn't heard that sitting here before. So, do you already have a girl in mind? Grandma, please, please. Also, I haven't been able to get the, the nice distraction of having a rally car pass by in quite a while. Grandma's just been really on her soapbox over here. Oh, wait, I think, I think I actually hear a rally car coming down. I'm not gonna pee on grandma this time around, okay? I know a lot of people thought last time we were here I peed on her, 
I peed around her, near her, but definitely, definitely not on her. One eternity later. Finally! Finally! Grandma, thank you so much. We will definitely, definitely come back and visit. Uh, next time we need a thousand dollars. We're an awful grandson. Honestly, we are a terrible grandson. There's another rally car coming, though. You gotta, I mean, you gotta watch when they drive by. It is absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. Just zoom in, dude. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful leaving here, though, because they're gonna just keep on going. Check out all the spectators, dude. I'm trying to, like, stay sort of on the side of the road, but it's very, very challenging, especially when the terrain is like this all over the place. I just, I can't ever tell, like the rear view mirror on the on the Kekmet is not good. I can't ever tell if there are any rally cars coming up behind us. So, just gonna do the very best we can to not come into contact with any of them, but no promises. Now that we are passing the finish line, I'm thinking we're gonna be okay. Or is this the finish line? Dude, I don't remember. Actually, maybe the rally's over for today. Whatever signs we just passed, some of them like disappeared as we drove past them. So with any luck, we won't see a single other rally car the rest of this journey. I was just, dude, I was anxious that whole time, the whole time we were driving on that road. But um, now we get to go to Quavos and hopefully he's still open. Guess I really didn't think this through, did I? This is easily the slowest drive we've ever made. Or wait, have we, have we brought the Keck Met out here once before? I feel like we did, but we weren't able to fill it up for whatever reason. Maybe Quavo was already closed for the day. I also saw a couple of comments um, not really understanding why it is that we call him Quavo and not his actual name of Tamo or however you're supposed to pronounce it. Um, in my initial Let's Play, the modded Let's Play, I called him Quavo accidentally and it just sort of stuck. So ever since then, we've just called him Quavo. So hopefully you guys don't get too upset about that. I know there's a lot of hardcore fans with this game that are like, you have to call everyone by their name, otherwise it just doesn't make sense. And they get all like mad about it. Kind of weird if you ask me. I should be able to, you know, call him whatever I want to. I, I don't really see the, the big deal there, but hang on. Hang on, I just heard some coughing in the distance. I know that cough anywhere. Where's he at? Uncle, no, uncle, oh dude, every time, every time we come to town, we find uncle. I don't know if you're just like drunk or like, did you get run over? I don't get it. Do you need some help, man? He needs some milk. Sorry, buddy. I don't have any milk on me. I know Quavo does though. Okay. Yeah. He's just, he's going to fight us the entire time we're trying to help him out yet again. So let's fill up with fuel. I don't think there's anything we really need to do in Quavo's store, anything we really need to buy, because he hasn't restocked yet, right? It's not, yeah, it's not Thursday. Sorry, Quavo. Oh, hey to the dishes and dishes to the dishwasher. Yeah, we love that. I've definitely noticed that if I have two days off of playing my summer car, I'm about to close the store, so shake that little booty fast. Okay, okay, I think I shake that booty little faster is how you're supposed to read that. I'm also very dyslexic. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> Anyways, I've noticed that when I get two days off for the weekend of not having to play my summer car and come back on, on Monday, it's really easy to record a, an episode, a full episode on it. But even after just doing one yesterday and then now trying to do another one today, I don't know why, but it's just infuriating. I just feel upsetty spaghetti about having to play this game again. I I can't put it into words, honestly, but um, this is going to be kind of expensive, isn't it? You, you thought I was going to leave without paying for the fuel, didn't you? Oh, only 300 bucks. Sorry, 300 marks. I accept. Thank you, Quavo. Appreciate it, brother. Have a great uh, rest of your day and stuff. We're going to hop back in the tractor and head on home, finally. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What is this, dude? 
Huge accident. Huge accident. Oh no, hang on, hang on. Is, uh, is our girl in that car? Is our future wifey in that car right now? All right, let's just go ahead and idle this thing down. This is really, really sketch, dude. Traffic don't stop. Like, it, it just don't. Okay, is that... No, 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 oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Please, bus, please. This is awful. This is actually awful. Okay, um, I, I'm having trouble grabbing you and pulling you out the car. I'm really trying, I'm really trying. A, a, a dang shame, actually, that we don't have a proper vehicle to, like, take you home in. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll save you. We'll save you. I mean, you shouldn't have been with the other dude anyways in the first place, if I'm being honest. This is kind of bad, but also kind of good because... Sorry, uh, Suski. Isn't that, isn't that your name? I can't remember. It's, it's been a long time. Um, but we kind of needed to trigger this sequence of events anyways... It's nice that we don't have to do it ourselves. The game just sort of did it for us. But the Swoboda driver passed us on our way to Quavo's, then the Ricochet driver. So I wonder, I wonder if they just got into a nasty, oh, the police are here. Interesting. Is that a police? Nope, that's not a police. That's the bus driver. The bus driver's like, see you guys, I'm out. I can't be here any longer. I'm just gonna walk off into the woods. At least he doesn't have any passengers. Okay, this thing is super loud and annoying. Suski, I'm really gonna try to get you up in the tractor, but I'm not so sure we're gonna have the best of luck. This is it, this is it. Three, two, one, we're just gonna toss you in there. Suski, please, you gotta at least work with me a little bit here. All right, there, 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 we've done it, we've done it, close the door. No, 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 Suski, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we have forks. Okay, Suski, come come this way. You're getting in the way of my wheels. This right here, ladies and gents, this is how we save the day. I'm not sure if she'll actually stay up here or like how secure or safe this really is. Um, but no, 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 no. You were actually perfect and then you moved. I don't know why you moved, but now you're not on there properly and you're not letting me pick you up again and this is, not what I wanted, Suski. I really hope this works, you guys. I honestly don't have any other ideas. She's up, she's up, okay. I think we're good. Oh, hang on, hang on. Every time, never fails, dude. Even in absolute crisis mode. No, 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 don't fall off. This could be it, this could be it. She's up yet again. Okay, we've got a dip. Oh my, and again, and he forgets the parking brake again. We gotta get on the on the road, dude. We need a level surface. There we go. All right, we're out of here. She'll probably fall off again. And our door just flung open. That was honestly kind of scary. We've gotta shift up to high gear. Somebody had said that we could just press R on the keyboard and it would do that for us. It hasn't worked for me. I don't know, maybe I just have my keybinds a little off. She's just barely hanging on right now, you guys. This is extremely sketchy. Not to mention, at some point, we're gonna have to get to the like the, the dirt roads or the gravel roads, and those are just gonna be super bouncy. There's no way she's hanging on at that point. Don't you rear end me, you better go around. That's what I thought. Suski, Suski, no, 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 please, no, Suski. Wouldn't it be funny if that's not even her name and I just pulled that out of nowhere? There. There. Can you just can you just stay up up there? Actually, you might be you might be wedged in right there. Hang on, we might have just done did something. Let's hop back up in the in the tractor here. We'll turn her over and we'll see if she's going to stay right there. This is without a doubt the most difficult thing I have ever tried to do in this game. A hundred percent, dude. She's stuck. For now, until she's not stuck anymore. No. Stop it. Stop it! 
I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna die of thirst. We're gonna die of hunger. Like there's just no way. There is just no way. Suski, I am so sorry, girl. I am so sorry. But we're about to die. So like I gotta go now if I even want a chance at survival. Oh, does this have lights? Please have lights. Um, lights. Okay, they're not very good lights. This is, dude, this is botched. I mean, what can I even do at this point? It's gonna be dang near impossible to find my way home now because I literally can't see anything. I think this is our turn though. The train would definitely have lights on it at nighttime, right? Like we would we would definitely see it coming. Oh. Actually, you know what? Convenient timing. I'm pretty sure that's the train dead ahead. I mean, what else could it be? The good news is we're turning off right here, so we won't have to stick around to find out. We are so close, you guys. We're so close. If we can just get home, get some food, get some water, we should. I'm just actually, I'm going to put it into neutral right here, right now. We're going to try to find the parking brake right there. Hopefully I pulled it. And then throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. Come on. Come on. I can't see anything. Still can't see anything. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to leave the lights on. We just need one package of sausages and one drink from the tap. And we will survive this. We can hop in uh, Fleetari's Ferndale and go pick up Suski. Fleetari's headlights on this thing better be super bright. Oh, and they are perfect. Okay, so the drive is going to suck because it's still the Ferndale. You know, it's, it's very... Oh, the Kekmet is right behind us. Thank God we have a rear view mirror, huh? Uh, but yeah, the drive's still gonna suck because it's still the Ferndale, but at least it's a lot lower to the ground than the Kekmet, so we should have uh, a bit easier time getting Suski inside of this. A few moments later. Stop, please. Oh my God, dude. You get on the brakes a little too hard and they just lock up. Wouldn't it be funny if we get all the way back out here in, in a car that we should be able to pick her up in and she's despawned or worse, somebody else has taken her home. She actually, she hasn't, she hasn't, she hasn't. Okay, dude, my heart dropped when we turned the corner and I didn't see her immediately. Okay, no handbrake on this thing. Can't really turn it around very efficiently. Gonna have to, yeah, sort of hit that little grass wall there. All right, Suski, we have returned this time in a vehicle that you should be able to fit in fairly easily. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Hang on. Did I put it in park? No, I did not. Even this is not easy. I'll be honest. All right. Legs in, whole, whole body in. Yeah, that seems, that seems good. Got, got one leg hanging out. Not trying to chop that ankle off. Okay. Almost did it anyways. There we go. We have done it. Okay, Suski, this will look a little sus driving down the road with your head very close to um, our lap. But we're not like that, okay? We're just doing you a solid and taking you back to our place so you can recoup after a very gnarly car accident. Oh no. Oh no. We're fading out. It's okay. It's okay. Our, um, our fatigue is just getting really, really high now to the point where... We're kind of starting to fall asleep at the wheel, which isn't good, I know, but I'm confident that we can at least make it close to home before we fall asleep. Uh-oh, here it goes again, here it goes again. We're good though, we're good. Right by the train tracks, everything's fine. Oh, and then the train is coming, of course. Ooh, easy, easy. <laughs> One last quick nap and then we'll wake up all right and we're back we're good everything's fine let's unbuckle our seat belts hop on out of here hit the ignition 
Uh, I guess the lights turned off on their own. Come on, Suski. Can I just grab your arm or something? Guess it doesn't really matter what we grab at this point. We just gotta get you out of there. It's not a comfortable position to be in. Maybe we need to grab a, a thigh or a leg or something. There it is. Suski, you are gonna love this place. We've got it all. Sausages. Water. That's about all we have to offer, to be completely honest. Oh, we, we've got some brewskis. No, we don't either. We actually left those at Fleetari's. We do have one bottle of booze. So, I mean, if you want that, by all means, help yourself. But for right now, I think you should probably... Oh, not do that. <laughs> I think you should probably take a nap now. If you could just... If you could just get up... If you could just get up on the... Please, if you could just... Suski, I'm not trying to do this right now, okay? This is not at all... No. I, I'm not into it. I'm gonna fall asleep just standing up. We love it. We love it, you guys. We're having such a good time. Suski, this is not what I had in mind when I picked you up on the side of the road, okay? I just I just wanted to make sure that you had a, a warm bed to sleep in. Please sleep now. Please. You didn't, like, say thank you or... Isn't there, like, some dialogue that happens? Maybe not. Okay, but we need to get to bed very, very badly, dude. This whole falling asleep while standing up thing, it ain't for me. And we've just woken up with a very, very full bladder. So before we go check on Suski, if she's even still in there, let's go ahead and do that. What a weird episode, you guys. Honestly, just so many random things happen, I feel like. Oh no, she's still here. Suski. And I can still pick you up. See, there was, there was this thing that was supposed to happen where like, you were supposed to say thanks, I'm pretty sure. And then we would leave you here. Yeah, that door doesn't open, and then in the morning you would be gone and there would be a note or something. I guess, you know what? I wonder if it's because we never actually initiated the street race with the street racers. So, we're not, like, keeping her as a prisoner now, right? Like, the cops aren't gonna come for us or anything like that. Anyways, I think that's probably where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, to help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.